this is a some friends of mine have this website, Institute for Practical Finance. Mm -hmm. They love that analogy. An ounce of gold would buy you a toga in the Roman Empire. An ounce of gold bought you the suit in the 20s, and an ounce of gold. You still buy you the suit today. They used to come on my radio show in Syracuse when I worked there every couple of weeks. And my, my bosses hated them because all of the uh, Bruce Herman style investment guys we had on the air there, yeah. they didn't like these guys telling people the truth. Right, right. So I was told finally, you don't put them on the air anymore. Wow. It got that, it got that bad. But, uh, wow. Well, you know, I was listening to a radio station local the other day that was talking about these financial guys were on there talking about their hedge funds and how uh, there's a gold bubble. Well, that's exactly what George Soros is doing as he's, his biggest investment is now gold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll have you give out the uh, contact information. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that'd be a really good idea. We're wrapping up our hour with one of the two, at the moment, uh, Constitution Party candidates for U.S. House of Representatives in Delaware, and that is Doug Campbell. When, when is the party convention to make a decision? Well, I'm not sure if it's been scheduled yet. Um, I'm going to have to talk to uh, Pell Sherman about that. Uh, we wanted to point out, for people who would like to know more about you and your candidacy, uh, simply going to the net, uh, you've probably got a website that's a good place to start. I don't have a website up yet, but if you just Google search my name, Doug Campbell in Delaware, you're going to find uh, YouTube <laughs> videos and my Facebook page. Uh, I, I do like Facebook. It is an easy way to communicate and get a lot of information out there. Um, I'm actually taping our interview right now, so everybody will be able to uh, tell their friends about it and go on YouTube and, uh, and check that out. I've also got... Um, you know, I've, I've done a, what you're going to see on my YouTube channel, it's William Dawes NDE, and it's been everything that I've been working on for the, like, the last year. Uh, I was responsible for the Mike Castle birther video uh, <laughs> last year at the Cheer Center that made him so famous. Uh, more importantly, what came out of that was a complete... Uh, what came out of uh, the work that I did down there, asking Mike Castle some, some tough questions was the fact that uh, he's lost all uh, connection with the Constitution, as most of the people in Congress have. He thinks that forced vaccinations are not a violation of the Constitution, and under certain circumstances he'd be willing to uh, vote for a bill for, the, like, for that. Um, he... He doesn't under... Uh, he, he just does not understand finance. You, you watch him ask Ben Bernanke questions about what we should be doing with Fannie or Freddie. And, of course, what Ben Bernanke told him was either more taxpayer subsidies or more taxpayer bailouts. And this is where this man is getting his advice from in our monetary policy because he doesn't know any better or he's kept himself in a bubble where... You know, the truth, the real information can't get in or he's just been bought off. I, you know, I don't care. All I know is he's, he's not, he, he is drastically hurting this country. I think a description might be he's a nice man, but he might be intellectually, you know, just sort of average. It's, in, it's incompetence. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't want to insult his intelligence or anything. I asked him about, like, uh, GMO crops, uh, whether he looked into uh, what kind of damage Monsanto has been doing, and uh, I, mean, I read yeah, I read something about it, I didn't really look into it. Well, you know, when you guys vote for a congressman, you need to make sure that that congressman has a little bit of knowledge about, he should have a lot of knowledge about everything. You're not only hiring a, you know, a financial representative, you're also hiring a farmer, a mechanic, uh, a business owner. Um, you know, you're, you're hiring such a diverse person to represent you at the federal level. You've got to make sure that he knows as much as there is to know about all these different subjects. You can't just go blindly walking into uh, voting for legislation that you claim to have read and, and then admit don't understand because it's in legalese. I don't know why I can read these bills and I can understand them, but what the, the hard process is is to go back to the other bills in the past that this new bill will change 
and be able to put all this stuff together. Um, the way they write these bills, it's such complex legal language, uh, it's really tough to get a grasp of what they're doing without researching a dozen other bills and knowing the statutes and you know a bunch of different cases. So you've got to make sure that you elect somebody that number one just fundamentally is, is with the Constitution and number two knows how to go after these guys. I want I want to be on the Financial Services Committee and I want to hold a hearing where at one table I've got Ben Bernanke, Alan Greenspan, Timothy Geithner and Hank Paulson and at the other table, I've got G. Edward Griffin and Max Kaiser and uh, you know Bob Chapman, Webster Tarpley, some of these other guys that have been following this fraud, know the fraud, and can explain the fraud to the Congress people, and then we'll have a hearing. That will be a hearing that that'll actually produce some results. We have a time maybe for one last caller. You're up next on WGMD, and who's this? Okay, I think our caller has decided to abandon us. Uh, hey, Doug, before you wrap this up, we've got a couple of minutes here. One of the things that you, you've addressed is how precarious this situation is. How much time do we have left? I can't see us getting more than another uh, a year. Um, I honestly believe that the dollar, the global currency devaluation, which in, involves closing down the banks for four or five days. They're going to freeze all accounts. Um, whatever you had in there before will be cut either by in, in half or by a third. And then when they open the bank, when they open the banks back up, uh, they're hoping to have, um, you know, we're, we're hoping not to have riots. But people are going to lose their minds because, as Gerald Salente says all the time, uh, when people lose everything and they've got nothing else to lose, they lose it. And that's part of why we're seeing such a control grid, um, federalizing of uh, local police, maybe not here in this state, but I know in, uh, in the middle of the country especially, we're seeing a lot of that. Uh, warrantless searches, um, the, the end of posse commentatus, which is to make sure that we don't have military troops on our streets. If you've got the military on the streets, you've lost all notion of freedom in the Constitution. You know, that's why they're constantly trying to strip away the we, right to bear arms. We, we saw fellows with rifles pointed at us in Washington on Saturday, uh, which is, I guess, you know, and, and most people, it seems, have adjusted and don't find that to be unusual. Right. Well, they're still wearing police uniforms, and that's how they, uh, that's how they incrementally get people used to seeing that kind of thing. Uh, you know, of course, you got to protect the capital against uh, you know, terrorists or whatever. Um, but you got to you got to make sure that the citizenry has the ability to protect itself from a tyrannical government. Once, when a government becomes criminal, got about twenty seconds. Okay, when a government becomes criminal, they make criminals out of the citizens. Like I said, somebody's going to prison over this fraud, this banking fraud. And I say we make it the bankers. I want to thank Doug Campbell from the Constitution Party of Delaware for coming by and joining us this afternoon. You're listening to the talk of Del Barba. Duke Brooks is up next between 7 and 10 o'clock. Uh, when I walked up and saw us, people there walking on the Capitol steps carrying rifles, and you know, to watch a bunch of grandmothers or people pushing baby strollers, I thought, this is something that I'm not used to seeing. Yeah. You know, I've been going to Washington since I was a kid in the mid-70s. Yeah, and there's no need for it. Yeah. There's, there's no need. There's no but that was, people told me, that was, you know, Pelosi basically gave the orders for that. And and that's exactly what she, this, this is, look, my friends, that's a website if you ever want to okay. check this out. I, uh, yeah, well. They have a whole series of, like, uh, uh, DVDs and things like that too that are available for free. Okay. Uh, 